Hey everyone, how's it going? And in a recent update of Android Studio, uh, they just dropped the Android command line support or command line feature. So if you type in Android, they would say, okay, it's not available anymore. Uh, let's give it a shot. Um, open up the command prompt, Windows command prompt, and type in Android. And it says that the Android command is no longer available, or maybe Android AVD, and it says the same thing. The Android command is no longer available, but it's a great uh, kind of problem for me, for me because I used to build apps in React Native and like Native Script, so I need this command. So the only solution at this moment is to switch back to the previous version of the Android SDK um, SDK tools. So in order to do that, you need to you're going to download the um, Android SDK tools. Uh, so if you're in a Windows like me, go ahead and download this. And if you're on a Mac, download this one instead. I would put this link in, in, in the video description for you, um, so you can easily copy, paste, and download these files. Now once you download the files, uh, extract it somewhere. I've extracted this uh, in in this directory and go to the Android installation directory uh, so go to a new direct new folder and go to local DXC. now normally Android, Android Studio installation are uh, what's in the uh, local DXC. so I'll go there local DXC and go to user and from user go your current user the user that you have installed Android Studio on and then go to app data now one thing to notice here is that app data is a hidden folder so if you can't see the folder up in here go ahead and show the hidden folders go to app data and go to local directory and then go to Android then go to SDK and there you will see a directory called the tools you, you can just delete that so I'll hit delete and delete the directory called tools and I'll drag and drop the tools that you've downloaded and put the tools directory in our Android SDK directory in here. Now if I go back to the command prompt, um, if I now go back to the command prompt and if I type in again Android and as you can see it's working and uh, it is SDK manager and if you can like type for Android AVD all of this all of them gonna work which is great and the problem is now should be solved that's not probably not a best solution but it will work at least for now thanks for watching this video um, you can tweet me at my Twitter handle at rocketdz or if you have, if you have any question feel free to ask at prism.com Thanks for watching the video.